General Rao, Brigadier Ishwar Chandra, and I think uh, I won't be wrong in calling people here present as very learned people in the field of security, private security. Somehow or the other, I have been in this field for, I think, three and a half decades. Even in the army, I started off in the with the Kumau Rifles and then did a stint with military police. Now, I have just uh, been enrolled, so to speak, by APSA. Never wanted to come back into the security field because, you know, you feel enough is enough. But as uh, we see the scenario developing in the country, I feel that uh, the role of private security in the future is only going to increase. We have substantial numbers, but the sophistication has yet to come into place. Um, I was just asked to speak a few words, so I won't go into a long uh, talk, which perhaps a longer talk will be coming later. But I was just thinking of uh, the private security scenario and what are the advantages we have. As I think of that, I find that the private security organization can develop into a very, very effective, efficient, knowledgeable force for the betterment of society. The visions I have on the subject are extremely large, which also include perhaps a college which can train security personnel and also be a source of recruitment for other services like police, paramilitary, etc. God willing, if all of us put our heads together, efforts together, we will achieve this. Why I say this is, you see, today, this uh, stems partly from my experience in raising a special protection force of Andhra Pradesh, which was on the cards for about 18 years. And the state was going on, you know, throwing it around, not knowing how to do it. Now, there are a lot of advantages in case there is a private security college or university because the, every government today is struggling to get its manpower into place. Firstly, the decision to recruit or fill up vacancies is terribly delayed. Secondly, the recruitment system takes a long time. Thirdly, the training takes a long time, the probation, etc., etc. Now, can you imagine what a value add it would be to any state which has a private security college which can prepare the young people well in advance, testing them for their aptitude and other requirements, physical requirements. They could just step into, so today, Willy-nilly, I have been sucked into the security uh, family or arena once again. And I hope that uh, we all come together and achieve this lot of things to be achieved. <laughs>